So let's take some trash here, turn it into a tabletop gaming terrain piece, and then you're also going to get a glimpse at some of the trash I tend to eat on a bit of a regular basis. This flavor here, it's alright, it's not one of my more favorite ones, but yeah, I'll eat it if I have to. So welcome everyone, I'm Jason, the creator of the Tabletop Battlefield, and today's game we're going to play is fairly simple. I'm going to build some terrain out of this bag of trash right hiding under here. Um, so the rules are pretty straightforward. I'm going to randomly pick five large pieces of garbage, their boxes and packages and whatnot, from this bag. And I got to use those as the core of the terrain piece I'm going to build. In addition to those five pieces, I'm going to allow myself to use a nice custom wood base so that the piece kind of sits nice on the battlefield. And also I can finish it using other little scraps, bits, and of course flocking and other basic materials. So let's play a simple game here to figure out what items from the trash I'm going to use the main part of my terrain piece. Alright, let's see what I got here. So. First up, microwave TV dinner box, so some thin cardstock to work with. This is a little plastic package where you get a contact lens in here. So yes, I wear contacts. I almost never wear glasses. I don't know if I've ever been on the channel with my glasses on. Piece of cardboard. Granola bar box. Also more cardstock. Oh boy. <laughs> a lot of cardstock. Oh boy. And then finally, a paper towel roll. So, circular card stack. Let me think about this and we'll see what I come up with. And there we go, the build is pretty much done. Let's take a closer look at each of the parts here and what kind of trash ended up where. The idea I've got here is a miniature version of like a World War I style coastal defense. I'll link in the show notes for an awesome YouTube channel where you can see some video of these things. And the idea of them is they basically had guns that were on platforms that raised up and down and they would use the natural terrain of basically wherever the gun was placed to protect it from return bombardment. So the gun would lower down, reload, raise up, fire, and then lower it back down and any in incoming attacks could basically be deflected by the um, whatever trains around here. So that was the idea behind this. And you can see I've got a lot of the cardboard and cardstock all over here. So you got cardstock here, a little bit of cardstock on the gun thing. And this is a cool trick if you didn't know about this one. For um, core graded cardboard, if I'm saying that right, I did say that right, for corrugated metal, you can remove a top layer of cardboard and get that effect, so I've used that on the inside here. When it comes to the guns, I took the paper towel roll and I wrapped them tightly around a, what do you call this thing, a shaft or handle for one of those foam brushes, because they always fall apart after a while. And then I did take some extra pieces of one of these, I cut one down and put them in the end of the barrel, so one of my little bonus trash pieces I found. Also then, I mounted the whole thing on a lid from a spray paint can, so that this way when it's all finalized, you'll get the effect that there is actually a raising and lowering mechanism that exists in here. Here is this random little piece from the contact lens thing that I just stuck on there to add some detail. 
And then I also had a few miscellaneous 3D printed parts that I found that I turned one into a ladder over here because also with these complexes, there's, there's obviously a subterranean aspect to them. So the soldiers or whoever's operating it, we need to go down, get ammo, bring it back up, those kind of a things. And then I've got another 3D printed part up here just to provide some support for the gun itself. And then finally, of course, the two pieces that weren't trash. We have the nice wooden base so that it sits somewhere. And then I did use plaster cloth to generate the front embankment or whatever it may be. All right, that is an overview. Let's get this thing painted up and ready for battle. I think that's about a good enough paint job for now. I gave it a bit of a rustic, damaged, worn out, old look to it because considering things are made of trash, they're only gonna look so good when compared to stuff like 3D prints and actual kits and all that thing. So giving it that kind of damaged look or the old look to it, it kind of goes, sells that effect or it goes along nicely with having everything being just kind of hastily put together. So if you like these kind of projects, go ahead and hit that like button so I'll know to make more of them, which sometimes I look at the stats and you know how those things go. But anyway, that's about it for today. So once again, I'm Jason, the creator of the Tabletop Battlefield. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great week.